Hello friends, welcome to Bootstrap 5 video tutorials series. In the previous video tutorial, we understood what is Bootstrap. We know that Bootstrap is one of the most popular responsive front-end framework built on top of jQuery library and Popper JS library meant to design responsive websites. What is Bootstrap? Bootstrap is a responsive front-end framework. It is meant to design responsive websites, right? In this video tutorial, we are going to understand how to download Bootstrap, jQuery and Popper JS. I told you that Bootstrap is built on top of jQuery library. So we have to download the jQuery library guys. Let's understand how to download jQuery library. I go to browser. I say here jQuery.com. We are in the jQuery.com website. I click on download jQuery button and then I click on download the compressed production jQuery 3.6.0 link. Here we have the minified version of the jQuery code guys. I say control A, control C to copy the code and then I search for the notepad. I select the notepad. Inside the notepad, I paste the code. Next, I am going to save this file. I say file, save as. I save the file at the desktop. I create here one new folder called as jQuery. Inside the jQuery folder, I save this file with the name jQuery.min.js. jQuery is the JavaScript library. So, .js. Both sides I put double quotations and save. I close this window. I close this window. We are successfully able to download the jQuery library guys. So here we have jQuery folder. Inside that we have jQuery.min.javascript file. Good. We know that Bootstrap is also built on top of Popper JS library. So we have to download this library. How to download Popper JS? Very simple. Go to browser say getbootstrap.com now we are in the bootstrap site click on the download link navigate to the section saying cdn via js deliver here we have the cdn link to popper.min.js file guys popper.min.js file i am going to copy this link control c to copy and then i click on plus button paste the link in the address bar you can see here we have the minified version of the popper js control a control c to copy and then i search for the notepad notepad is open inside the notepad i paste the code control v to paste the code and then i am going to save this file i say file save as i save the file at the desktop i create one new folder called as popper inside the popper folder i save this file with the name popper dot min.js both sides I put double quotations and say save I close this window I close this window we are successfully able to download popper.min.js file guys very good next we understand how to download the bootstrap itself before that let me tell you why we download the popper.js most of the bootstrap poppers that is tool tips popovers, dropdowns, models, etc. are handled using popper JS library. Hence, we have to download the popper JS guys. Okay. Without popper JS, these poppers do not work guys. Okay. Now, let's understand how to download the bootstrap. Very simple. We go to getbootstrap.com and then click on the download link. Here we have compiled CSS and JS section. Click on the download button guys once we click on the download button it downloads the bootstrap zip file i go to the folder where it is got downloaded and then i extract it i right click say extract here and then i rename this to just simply bootstrap and then i cut this control x and paste it at the desktop guys we are successfully able to download the bootstrap also we downloaded the jquery Popper JS as well as Bootstrap guys. I suggest you people to download these three things on your desktop and from the next video tutorial onwards we understand how to use the Bootstrap 5 to create responsive websites step by step. That's it guys for this video tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. 
and learnt new things. If you like this video, hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. If you have any doubts, please put those doubts in the comment section. For more benefits and be up to date, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys, thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.